if you love Coke. <laughs> This is Coke. You know, my friends, I do have a soft spot for everything that has to do with Hermes. I do have a really big collection of Hermes lipsticks, both in the satin, matte formulation. I love their limited edition lipsticks too. As soon as I saw that they were dropping lip oils, I was like, okay, sign me up for it because I'm all into this lip oil thing right now. I have tried so many and yeah, <laughs> they are called irresistible like irresistible <laughs> okay so let's see how these will do they come in six different shades i ended up picking up five i know should i have picked up the sixth one perhaps but it was kind of like a purple tone and although lip oils they usually have some translucency according to the promo images it looks like they do have plenty of pigment we will see and judge but anyhow they are made in italy they cost 55 dollars they do have a shelf life of 12 months and i will be leaving all the details where to find them on the description box below along with the links also i will be linking everything that i'm using today as far as makeup goes etc so here we go to the new lip oils by hermes these are supposed to care for your lips condition your lips it has 93% natural origin ingredients which we have seen a huge movement right now in that regard now I have shown one of them on I think it was a haul video that I make a couple weeks ago it was a Sephora haul plus a luxury haul and I only received one then my package came like I ordered everything together and I received three different packages three different timings I mean like and the last package was received this morning okay friends so let's go ahead and take a quick peek right here of the unicard the presentation it's very much alike to the unicorns from the lipsticks but these do not have as much substance you know like as opening an hermes lipsticks these right here are you see like this is just like a sleeve you know a simple package well if you have purchased a lipstick from hermes it's like opening a real you know a box of hermes jewelry for example something along those lines so anyhow friends here i have the shade 01 beige sapotil and this is made out of glass a lot of people said it looks kind of like not so luxe not so elegant yes it's a different approach right here but feeling it on your hands it does look a little bit more lax. Now the component is made out of glass. This part right here is plastic. The ex libris, it is up here. It has the emblem of Hermes. It says Hermes here. On the other side, Hermes is the ball on the front. And then at the bottom, you have the name of the lip oil. And now let's take a peek really quick on the okay so it does have a nice stopper right there and then it has a very slim kind of doe foot applicator it's a little bit slanted so i hope it will you know hug the lips and let's just give it a swatch right here now it is my understanding hmm, interesting smell I like it. it. Smells a little bit tropical, like a guava kind of scent. Where's my idea? So Christine Nagel, who is the Hermes perfumer, is the one who has created this scent. Honestly, it smells tropical, like guava scent. Okay, let's start with swatching these lip oils. Shade O2 Coral Vigorat. Now this one right here has a different scent. It just smells like a summer vacation, like more like a salty kind of scent. 
fizzy too. Mmm, it's so good. Or if you have ever smelled or tasted the fruit sapote, that's the smell. Rose pitaya. Okay, this is more like a floral scent. Not a rose scent, but it does have, still it's a little bit on the sweet side, the scent, but it does have a floral tone to it. All for Rouge Amarel. This has a little bit of a cherry kind of scent, but not your typical, you know, cherry that you'll find it everywhere. Cherry, a little bit of like, perhaps like some sour note into it. La shade 05 Rose Cola. Oh my gosh. No way. If you love Coke, <laughs> this is Coke. Oh my goodness. Do you love Coke? Or you love cola in general? This is cola. Oh my gosh. Okay, friends, I do have sad news for you. I love these lip oils. <laughs> I know, don't kill me, but they are so good. They are not super thick. They carry the pigment. That's super important. But they feel so comfortable on the lips too. And then there is some uniqueness to these lip oils. And that is that each of them they do have their own scent. And it's not just any scent. It's not a scent that you will find anywhere. It's just a high-end scent, a scent that is beautiful. And don't get me wrong. Some people, you may be like, oh, if it has a scent, I will stay away from them because I don't like to feel any taste on my lips. You're not going to taste. It's just an experience. It's when you open up, the lip oil you smell it it's like a little well a scent is here then you apply it and right now it's not that i'm oh i can smell like i have what the one that is cola rose cola i don't smell that cola scent does it make sense so i love that experience i love the experience that it brings me it's not like i can taste the scent that is going to linger on me, that is going to be bothersome, it's not. It's just an experience of the moment. The pigment is carry on. The shine is just so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm going to be very honest with you. I like these lip oils way more. I know what I'm going to say is like <gasps> forbidden, perhaps. More than Dior. Yeah, I know Dior lip oils are OGs. Cherry is one that, you know, everybody raves about and is, you know, like, it is what it is. But I'll have to say 
that in texture, in comfort, in shine, um, in experience in general, I like more irresistible lip oil. And for that matter, if you are looking for cherry lip oil from Dior, I will say, you know, if you want to try, try Rouge Amarelle. This right here, it does have more pigment. It's not going to leave your lips so, you know, like reddish as you see right here, but it does have more pigments than the lip oils from Dior. It gives a little bit more of that. It's not going to plump your lips. There's no tingling sensation, irritation, nothing of that. It's just going to make them look juicy, like if they are plump, but without any plumping effect, and very nourishing. They look so pretty, so pretty. All the shades are beautiful, and all the shades, although you may think, oh, they are lip oils, they are not going to look unique or different shade from each other, you are able to differentiate from each other for sure. Yeah, absolutely, yes. I love them. I absolutely love them. I think they are just beautiful. They don't gather on the fine lines. Wow. There's a couple things that I will say they, will, they should have changed a little. I don't feel like the packaging is not luxurious, that is not up to Hermes. I think they could have done better though because this doesn't feel cheap at all and whatsoever. It doesn't. But I, I think I mentioned it when I did my whole video that I only had one of the lip oils is they should have put this, you know, like kind of brassy top right here. At least they should have done that. Just that would have been just added an extra like, oof, it looks, you know, it, it just looks a little bit more like luxurious. And even perhaps put this brass right here, or maybe not, maybe just with these would it have sufficed, you know. I know lip oils, they are just a little bit more simplistic, you know. It looks very nice. It's not that it doesn't, but that's that's something that in terms of packaging design, it's perfect as is, but it would have give an extra like, oh, look, it's Hermes. That's that's my only thing that I will say. And then another thing too is I really love the stopper because you're not going to have a mess, but I wish that the one will carry a little bit more product. You see, like the one from the lip oils from Dior, it's very thick, you know, like and it hacks your lip. This one hacks your lips, but it's just... To think, I wish it would a little bit thicker, but in a way, on the other side, is that you can control the amount of product that you're putting on your lips, and that's a plus too. If you don't want to put too much, you know, on your lips, because these do have enough shine, and you don't need to waste product. You know, like with, you know, digging two times, that's more than enough. Honestly, I'm impressed. I love them all. All the scents are beautiful. Rose cola, really like, oh, you know, I'm not the person who drinks cola all the time, but smells really nice. And then I really love also the scent of number one. Like I said, it's kind of like a guava scent. And then the scent of number two, it reminds me like, salty water at the beach, like very sophisticated kind of suntan lotion, you know, just salty water, like perfect for the beach. Okay, my friends, I will say 100% if you have been eyeing them and you want to leave oil and you want to splurge in something luxurious, do not hesitate. I'm in fact very curious right now. You see this, this like my curiosity. Now I really want to experience the purple. <laughs> so most likely I'm going to pick up that one right there. But I would love to know from you, have you tried these new Hermesistables lip oils? How you're liking them? If you haven't tried them yet, which of these shades you like? Are they going to your wish list? Let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below and while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.